Hey everyone, short aside on Ayn Rand and objectivism. I don't like them, and I'm going to read uh, one paragraph from an article on an Ayn Rand objectivism website called The Atlasphere. Tea partiers, in their essential ideas, come from the same school as hero worship and romanticism. Their ranks include many fellow Ayn Rand fans. So the implication here is, like Ayn Rand often said, that uh, objectivism is about romanticism and just like romanticism about hero worship. Now Ayn Rand reinforces that idea in many of her novels. Well, in all of her novels. If you read Atlas Shrugged, uh, the hero worship is so thick you can really just about you can't really smear it on with a butter knife anymore. You're going to need something a little more heavy duty. Now, here's my thing. Ayn Rand supposedly was all about individualism, right? It was all about the self, the individual. Bullshit. Ayn Rand, the objectivist, the individualist, was not about individualism. Sure, she was about individualism. If you were some great person, some hero, someone to emulate, one of those gorgeous people who we can't be like, you know, those people we strive to be. No, you're shit. I'm shit. Well, maybe, you know, we're not shit because we we follow Ayn Rand, so we're probably on our way to be heroes. But 99% of people are total shit, right? That's her philosophy in a nutshell. That's her philosophy in every one of her books. Read Atlas Shrugged. It's all about those those magnates, those tycoons, those geniuses that cusp who supposedly by themselves can reinvent and recreate society and make everyone live better lives. Individualism that is just about individuals with supposedly superior qualities isn't individualism at all. It's collectivist hero worship. That's what Ayn Rand and objectivism is. It's worshipping gods. Gods of science. Gods of industry. True individualism. Which joins up perfectly with the respect for the community. Is a respect for every individual. That, you know, that PC stupid thought that you should, you know, that you should appreciate people for who they are. That you should take people seriously and like them for who they are. Even if they don't have any qualities that in some Randian sense lift them above all others. That's individualism. The idea that we should just focus on some superior beings that we should worship the cult of the better human that's true collectivism and her books are all about collectivism they're asking the majority to be enthralled by the superior minority it's all about creating a hierarchical society where the strong, the intelligent, the mighty lead the weak, the disgusting, the feeble. That's what objectivism and Ayn Rand and a lot of right-wing uh, libertarianism, when you get down to what my feeling is, a lot of right-wing libertarians believe, is all about. So, my position is that I, as a left-wing libertarian who wants to secure and protect everyone's individuality, who wants to make sure that no one has to go wishing on a star that they could be someone else, that we can all be happy with ourselves and make the best of ourselves.
which may well be better than all of those heroes that we used to worship, or in all likelihood, will just, you know, at best be a very good person that contributes very positively to the world. That that is what we should strive towards. And that individualism is all about respecting all the individuals, not about respecting a handful of individuals who on some criteria supposedly are head and shoulders above the rest. That's my thought on Ayn Rand and objectivism. Um, all you objectivists out there, stay cool in the collective. You know. And I'll see you guys all later.